on the carousel. Get ready with me. I'm sorry. Good morning, Mel Mafia. I'm about to do some self-care routine. It is 6.41. I just got done doing a class with one of my favorite content creators. And I am about to get ready because I am going to cook breakfast. Monday morning. Skincare is done. Now I am about to prepare breakfast and get Nova's school lunch and book bag and all that together is 6.51. They might be waking up soon. I don't know if Navy's going to wake up because she woke up around 5.30ish and her dad um, went to go put her back to sleep. So she might sleep a little late today. So I'm still going to cook breakfast for everybody and... Get Nova stuff together for school. Well, summer camp. This is the last week of summer camp for Nova. And I believe she starts school back September 4th. Lord Jesus, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> I just realized the camera had turned off. So, like I was saying, I'm going to be drinking some green tea instead of coffee. We did throw our coffee maker out, I believe, a couple months ago because we didn't have a need for it. It was just taking up space. And um, buttering our waffle iron. We are, I am making them some cinnamon waffles. One of my goals for this month is to make sure and for the rest of the year is to make sure I cook try to cook three meals a day for my family gotta check the sausage like all I want to do is and this has been my whole life like all I want to do is be a mom. Like, I can't see myself doing anything else besides being a mom. Like, I've always wanted to be a mom. And when I was diagnosed with polycystic ovaries, you know, that causes infertility. So, the fact that I'm able to conceive children and I didn't have to go to, like, a fertility doctor was just mind-blowing to me. So... I'm very grateful for my kids and I want to be the best mother I can be because I really technically ask the universe for this. And, you know, I just want to make sure that everything is everything. 
So I'm mixing up this pancake batter. My butter is burning. <laughs> but I'm going to make sure it's the right consistency. The kids love it. Um, sometimes you don't know what you're going to get when your kids go to school. Good morning. How are you? How did you sleep? Navy and Daddy. You slept with Navy and Daddy? Yes, okay. Mommy's making you some cinnamon waffles. Okay. And you have camp today. Okay, you have a camp today, Mommy. Yep, you have camp today. So, like, sometimes at school they might feed them, like, stuff that my kids don't eat. Like, my kids don't eat cereal. We don't eat cereal as a whole. So, like, I at least try to get a hot meal. And especially when it gets cold outside, I like to get a hot meal in my kids. Um, it's not the entire school, but the demographics of where my daughter goes to school at, I know it is tricky for some kids. And everybody's not um, blessed. With uh, to be able to give a refrigerator, well, not give a refrigerator, but give their child um, a hot meal in the morning. Most of them eat cereal because they're rushing. Their parents have to get to work, so that's why I said in my life, all I want to do is be a mom. I want to make money off being a mom. I don't want to work a nine to five. I can't work a nine to five because that takes too much time away from enjoying motherhood and being an actual mother. And that's no shame to all the working moms out there. You do what you have to do for your lifestyle. And that doesn't make you any less of a mother. But me, within myself personally, all I want to do is be a mom. And me and my husband had this talk way before we even had children. Like, I actually got to know my partner before we had children. Nova is eating her breakfast right now. <laughs> Navy still asleep. This is what they having for breakfast. They got their cinnamon waffles, egg sausage, and some applesauce. Baby's eating waffles, eggs, and sausage. I'm probably just going to have eggs and sausage. Now I am about to pack Nova's lunch. And then I'm going to moisturize and get her ready for camp. <laughs> All right, now mafia. So this is one of the reasons why I make sure my kids eat before they leave. Look. All she has left is a little bit of applesauce and sausage. Sausage is not always Nova's thing. She prefers bacon. But I know that she got a warm meal in her belly before she walked out of this house. It's fulfilling. It's nutritious, right? She's happy. She's moving around. She has some energy. Parents, I don't tell people what to do with their kids, but it's very important to make sure your kids eat because it gives them their energy. Whoa! Like, how are they supposed to function all day at school and learn if they did not eat? And if you made it, dropping them off to school late and they miss breakfast. And the teacher says they can't eat in class. Just make sure you feed your babies, right? We're going to go get some lotion on and get dressed, okay? Okay. So, we usually don't do iPad time in the morning. Nova usually gets a book. So, what book do you have today, Nova? I have Pop a Dinosaur book today. Yeah, she has never popped a dinosaur. So, at her school, they have, like, book fairs. And um, the kids get five free books each time. I think it comes twice a year. Like I said, this um, demographic of the kids in her school, a lot of them are low income or homeless or of that sort. Or special needs. Um, so they make it fair to all families that they all 
can get something. Give me a leg. So that all the kids can get some. So it's just keeping everybody included, no matter your income. Mommy. And I think that's awesome because I remember growing up, going to the book fair and some kids would have $20 and they could get whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And when they went to the book fair, like most of the time you didn't even get um, books. You would get like pens or bookmarks or some kind of gadget, you know. But I never had book fair money, never. And it's sad for the whole class to go if they don't have money and you know you don't have money. So, that was my little thing. But me, when she does go to a school where you have to pay for stuff at the book fairs, like mind you, this school that she goes to now only goes up to kindergarten. But, um... When she does go to a school and you have to pay for things at the book fair, I will make sure she always has money. I never want her to feel left out, even though she probably won't even notice it. But if she does see something that she likes, I still want her to be able to have money. To be able to get anything she wants out the book fair. Then we're going to, come on, let's lotion arms. And I'm using this brand lotion and a little bit of oil because sometimes her skin gets dry, especially when she's out in the sun. So I accidentally put too much oil on her legs. <laughs> And I just massage it in. And the good thing about this is even though it has a little bit of fragrance in it, um, it's still good if you have eczema. Both of my kids have eczema. And I'm completely okay with that. Well, not, you know what I mean. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like, oh my God, the world's ending. But I just try to make them as comfortable as possible. Since they do have eczema. And I'm about to. I gotta grease her scalp and put her barrettes in. I still didn't pack her lunch, but I'm gonna wake her dad up <laughs> so I can get some assistance. I might not even need no assistance, but I know I'm not. Uh, dropping her off. I think she prefers for her dad to drop her off and pick her up. Because she's scared of the school bus. <laughs> to be a Monday morning it surely isn't that chaotic I'm trying to think I'm in the middle of packing Nova's lunch but I'm trying to think if we should have Rick that looks like a practically the only thing we got in here that's two of so stay tuned for a rib video later I think I already showed y'all how to cook my ribs so 
I don't know. I probably won't be showing y'all. Got her ice packs. Got her thermos warming up. She is having hot dogs today. For lunch. Hot dogs, strawberries. I'm going to pack her some rice cakes for a snack. I'm not sure if she's going to eat her yogurt. Uh, hot dogs. And a string cheese. For it to be a Monday, it really isn't as chaotic as Mondays usually are, which is great. All right, let me open these hot dogs up. Can you guys see me? Because I know when the window is behind me, it makes it like a glare or I'm like super dark. Let me see. Make this light and it's better. And yes, I took my hair out yesterday. Yesterday, I needed like a, some time to myself. I just have been going through it. I have so much going on in my life right now. I have so much going on in, right now in my life. And, you know, life can get overwhelming. And it was starting to affect my marriage. So, I just had to take... A break yesterday um, from like the whole world and when I say the whole world I mean like I didn't talk to anybody for like almost the whole day because I just I don't know like I have I had issues me and my husband do go to counseling, but I was going to self-counseling, but I stopped. But I think I'm going to start back up again because I have so much stuff bottled up. And I don't want to lash out on anyone. And my husband explained to me that's what I was doing. So I'm trying to correct myself and I'm trying to be a great wife and a great mother. So I have to listen to my partner when I'm having these vulnerable moments and when I need help. I need to listen to him and I need to stop trying to be right about everything. So I had to do some like some self reflection basically to see what was up. Hopefully today is a better day. I'm feeling better. I had a class this morning. It was definitely needed. Um, and I'm looking forward to the rest of this month and seeing what it brings me. But now I got to chop these hot dogs up and get them in this thermos. Now see, with the hot dogs, I don't have to dry the thermos out because... It's okay for a little bit of steam to get in there. The hot dogs won't get soggy. If anything, it'll moisturize them more. I really hate these hot dogs. Because they don't cut right. And I did two hot dogs. So that's enough for her. And now, Navy is still not up, and neither is her dad. What is going on? All right, so. This Omni box can be a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> But I love that it keeps her food warm. All right. I gotta wash these strawberries. So I'm just gonna wash two because that's what she's gonna eat. Mm, I give her three. I don't know why he puts this in here like this. Is he a psychopath? Or what? Right 
right now we got some string cheese going for her lunch oh look y'all couldn't even see me oh my gosh my microphone came off oh it broke hold on my husband's gonna have a heart attack he got me this as a wedding gift. The microphone broke off the top. Oh Lord. Here, like, we could just get another one. I don't wanna get another one. I like the one I had from the beginning. So I usually let her pick which one she wants, but I'm gonna pick for her. Because then she thinks she's going to have it right now and she's not. I am going to open it just a little bit. And put it in there. Probably, I don't know, throw something else in here. Some Teddy Grahams. <laughs> and I'm going to give her a rice cake and a sandwich bag for her lunch. For her snack. Alright, so... I put Teddy Grimm's in her lunchbox. We ran out of sandwich bags, so I had to use a quart bag. She got two rice cakes for your snack. Mommy packed you up hot dogs, a cheese, look, a cheese, strawberries, and Teddy Grimm's. That's for your lunch, okay? Okay. And this is for your snack. Mommy, look at the ice pack. Yep, in your ice pack. I'm going to put it in your lunch box. This is her bluey lunch box. <laughs> she loves bluey. That's the bluey girl. And bluey lunch box. And one ice pack on top and one on the bottom. Go get a juice so I can put it in your lunch bag. Go get a juice off the pantry, please. They're always bulky. But as long as it keeps her food the right temperature. Here, I'm going to put it. Come on, hurry up, please. You have to go to school. You're moving like you have nowhere to go. Do you not want to go? All right, then. You got to put some pep in your step. And I have to put some water in your cup. Here. Okay, mommy. My husband is up and they are getting ready to leave. Mommy, I want to leave. I know, baby. <gasps> mommy, you broke your camera. Yeah, I did break it. Why would you tell on me? <laughs> Wait, I can't put my apron bag up. <laughs> Bye. Bye, mommy. Have a good day at camp.